Hello and welcome. If you don't already know me, I'm Sid and this is my YouTube channel. Here I vlog and share my experiences about traveling on intercultural experiences, my experiences living abroad, and to show up actively in this space. Today's topic is on learning a new language as an adult. When I spoke maybe three full sentences of the language before moving to the country where it is spoken. This video is for all the Americans who think that learning a new language is a joke based on the fact that English is becoming a language spoken around the world, including becoming the main language of science and research. In addition, this is gonna be for all the Spaniards because this is based on my specific experience within Spain to understand where I'm coming from. I'll start with life as a foreigner in another country where a language is nowhere to be found is really daunting, but I've learned that this is not impossible. I moved to Spain without ever visiting the country or even Europe. Um, and so I definitely never heard of the city of Salamanca or the university where I went to for my master's and I just applied on a whim. And that's how it happened. And I said, all right, well, before moving to Spain, I'd visited seven other countries, mostly in Asia. And the longest I'd spent outside of the US was when I completed a summer school program for college credit in South Korea, in Seoul specifically. And so it's not like I'd ever sold my things and moved to another continent before. And I definitely did not speak Korean when I went to Korea. I learned a couple of phrases to get around, but I definitely used the privilege that I had as a native English speaker to communicate with other Koreans who already spoke English. So that was my typical American experience that I was having. However, in Salamanca is the birthplace, they say, of where Castilian Spanish was born. And I kind of knew that after I applied for the program. And when I was arriving, I was like, oh, oh no, all right, let's go. No one speaks English here. I am going to learn to survive or I will just never make the deeper connections with the community. I'm gonna talk about five different topics now about my perspective as an American moving to Spain, learning Spanish. In the US, it's kind of a thing where one, learning Spanish is a joke. I mean, I know I didn't personally take it seriously, I can communicate with all the Spanish speakers in my community enough to get by. They speak English. We're doing a bit of an exchange. It's fine. So learning Spanish was a joke. I didn't feel like my peers took it seriously. <laughs> I took it serious enough to pass my classes, but I didn't think that I would really need to use it in the future because I definitely had a closed mindset in that way where I was like, well, enough people in the world speak English, I can get around, it's gonna be fine. I'm doing a degree in science in undergrad, so my science is in English, and that's basically what it was. But I always respected everyone who spoke another language who were bilingual or multilingual. It's incredible, and I always wish that I could be that person, but I never felt like I would have the opportunity, so I didn't take my classes seriously. So topic number two, is that learning a new language has permitted me to become a cultural ambassador in a lot of different ways because I knew that if I was going to move to a country, I would have to learn the language to communicate myself and express myself to people. But in the same way, I wanted to be able to bring back the stories that I was learning to my friends at home and have my friends understand my new friends who didn't speak the same language. And while it has been challenging sometimes to be in the middle of those groups, it's really important um, to be able to communicate with so many people to bridge the gap because so many miscommunications over history have happened because of bad translations. So I feel like me being able to do this now has allowed me to become a cultural ambassador, which has been really cool. Three is the timing of learning the new language. And so I learned Spanish from basically two semesters in university. I took AP Spanish in high school. Um, for the Spaniards, that's like an advanced Spanish class um, that you can get college credit for while you're still in the instituto. I didn't, I didn't pass by that much. It wasn't that great. But then when I moved to Salamanca, I lived with a host family, a host mom, for three months straight. 
and I was forced every single day at lunch and dinner because in Spain lunches can last up to an hour and a half and dinner is the same but every single day we ate at home because all the stores closed the only places open were restaurants and I wasn't going to go out to eat every day because I was in university so I came back to the house and I would speak Spanish or try to speak Spanish and try to understand the other people at the table for an hour and a half every single day for 90 days. One of the hardest things that I've done, but I made it through. And because of that, I had gained the confidence to go and live with native Spanish speakers after that semester. Through that living experience and intentionally choosing to only live with people who spoke Spanish, I was able to immerse myself further and learn by immersion. I took three weeks of Spanish classes at the University of Salamanca in Cursos Internacionales. And that was amazing because I learned how to learn. This was one year ago now. Um, so within the first year of living in Spain, I did three weeks for four hours, four days a week. Um, but I would say like, I didn't actually learn that much in the classes. What I learned was how to learn a language. Through the timing that I had, I was able to not only be a little bit ma more mature about the situation, but I also was able to um, thoughtfully choose and intentionally choose when I was learning the language as well, which was a great time in my life to do so. Four, pronunciation is very, very important um, because not being called out as being an American within the first two words that I say is a step up. But pronunciation is the most important thing. And one of the Spanish teachers that I had in Salamanca told me when I was just, I was reading out loud, he was like, all right, you're gonna read slower and slower and slower until you do not have an accent because the most important thing about learning a new language is that people understand you. Because if people understand you, then you can communicate yourself better and you go through the steps of being a cultural ambassador. You're able to share your experiences. You're able to listen, receive and go again. It's the cycle, right? So pronunciation has been key, something that I've learned. Thing number five, which is summing up everything about language that I've learned. Integration into a society depends on you. So. What I'm saying is that coming from America where we have a mix, we have a lot of different people coming from all over the world. And so from a young age, I was personally always exposed to different languages, different cultures, cultural activities, religions, etc. And I was fortunate enough to have that exposure. But at least like living in Spain, it's it was one of my goals was to come here and integrate into a more homogenous society because in the very rural areas, Spain is not diverse by any means. It's a very homogenous culture. And so if I want to participate in this culture, I also have to be willing to mesh and to give up some of maybe, not give up, but to conform a little bit to the society that I'm in. And I think that's okay. I think that was my choice for moving to a different country and coming back to Spain after leaving, intentionally coming back. And that was one of the things that I really wanted to experience was a different homogenous culture versus in the U.S. where we have a lot of tension and we do have polarization because of a lot of differences that we're going through. And I think that will subside in the future. I think that we are recognizing what needs to change and things are changing and it is slow but change will come whereas living in spain it's already a more homogenous culture and so my integration into society and how i want to participate and if i want to try every single cultural thing like traditionally it's just i'm living here and it just exists so i get to choose whether i participate or not and that's the key thing. So language kind of wraps up into my participation into society as well, because then I can participate 100% in activities that I wouldn't have ever been able to participate in without speaking Spanish. Those are my experiences from living as a foreigner abroad in Spain specifically as an American. I, I hope that my experiences can provide a bit of perspective 
on what I have gone through personally, perhaps what other Americans are going through now. Let me know what you think. Please reach out to me. Let's have a conversation about this. I would love to learn more.